Thank you. Yeah, Jillian. Do you guys have a response to what Putin said yesterday, which was basically that if this is a follow-up on, on Ukraine, if there yeah. were missile strikes, you view that as NATO entering into a direct war with Russia, including the U.S.? Just so a few things. Yeah, a few things about that. So number one, that's very similar to things that he has said uh, over the course of the past two and a half years. We've sen seen him make similar statements about uh, things that the United States and its allies and partners, not all of whom are NATO members, some of uh, whom are other uh, partners of ours around the world. Um, so it's not really a new statement by President Putin, but of course we pay close attention to everything that he says. I would say President Putin is the one who could end this war today if he wanted to. The only reason we are even having a discussion at all about the provision of American capabilities to Ukraine and the provision of capabilities by our NATO allies and the coalition of 50 countries that we've assembled around the world to Ukraine is because Putin continues to press this illegal war, that he continues to try to forcibly take territory of Ukraine. So if the president of Russia doesn't want to have a conversation about what capabilities we provide to Ukraine, there's a very easy way to uh, get to the end of that conversation, and that's for him to end this illegal war. But do you dispute his? Uh, I don't know, his oh, the other thing that NATO, of course, no, of course, of course, it would not be an entering of the United States. We have been very clear that uh, uh, the United States is not going to take part in this war. Uh, we're not going to put boots on the ground. We are, however, going to continue to to equip Ukraine so it can defend itself. We're going to continue to work with a coalition of countries around the world to help Ukraine defend itself. All right, now, uh, can I just Tom. sort of follow up on, on, on the issue?